Hi guys, this is Yvette. I know Halloween is over, but I was just about to finish this box. Actually, I was about to pick my Halloween pictures and start printing them so I can put them in my mini book. So I thought that maybe I could just share it with you guys first. My sister and I were both inspired by Bona at Live, Love, Scrap. And when my sister went to Michael's and found the box, she got two of them. So we thought that we make a box also. So here's my box. Um, this is the Alice in Wonderland paper by Graphic 45. And this is the back. Okay, then let me go ahead and open it. Okay, and the inside, I thought it was so cool to put the hand in there with the card. And let me take my book out and show you the inside. Actually, this spider I got at Michael's on clearance. This little pack that bought a whole bunch of chipboard accents. It's really cute. And so what I did was I put the spider and then with a Sharpie made the little dots going up. Okay, I was at Forever 21 and I found this chain with the charms of Alice in Wonderland. And I thought, how perfect is that, that it goes perfect with my mini book. So I bought the chain, I wore it for a day, and then I came home and I put it on my mini. Okay, I pull this little string. Sorry guys, it's hard to work with one hand. There we go. This again was from that little package I showed you. Put a little bling here. And I was going to put a picture in the front, but I kind of like this also. And this opens up, and I'm not going to put pictures because oh, I just love this just the way it is. So I'm not going to put any pictures there. Then on the other side, I put the little bat up here, and here I left it open so that I can put a tag or a picture or something in, in here. And then this one, I put um, some tags with the chain, and this side is like this, and on the other side, I'm going to put photos. There's several of them. There's about two, four, five, about five or six of them. And this side, again, it's like a little book. And I have a little trick or treat. And it opens up like this on one side and pictures on the other side. I went to AC Moore and they had the fence. So I bought this pack of fence and then I just painted it in black. And then what I did was I took my sand block and then I sanded it down just a little bit just to make it look a little make it look a little old or something. And of course you can slide pictures and things in there. This side is pretty blank, so I'm going to put a picture here and then after I have the picture then try to decorate around it. And here is a tag and I want to put a picture there and then the tag and of course I love that cat also from that chipboard collection. And here I put some pretty lace rose and she's open also in the size so that I can also stick something in there and this is another book the tags were just so pretty the cards that I just I didn't want to cut them and destroy them so instead I just kept using them as books and this way I can put lots of pictures because as Elsa would say, it's all about the pictures. <laughs> and here again, I didn't want to cover the cat. I don't know what to do in this page because the cat is so cool. So I just put the bat on top and I might leave a blank, I don't know. And then of course here I put already the mat to put a picture. 
fall out. And I left some space just in case I had to tuck the picture in there. And then in the back, I wanted to make sure that I cut the paper where it said at Halloween in Wonderland collection. And then I put some glossy accent over it and over the clock. So that's about it, guys. Um, I know Halloween is over, but I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to go ahead and start printing my pictures of my granddaughters so I can finish my mini book and get on with other projects. Okay, bye.